Okay, this is Bishop Paul Zanetti. And I got my book, The Imitation of Christ. And I'm going to read it to you. We were just talking about, like, uh, We were just talking about uh, one of the guys that work here was saying about you know uh, that it's the, it's good, the world's going to end because of Mayan calendar 2012. But I don't believe that. I think the world's going to keep going until actually mankind points their guns at God. <laughs> This book, The Imitation of Christ, is a great book. I mean, you can't get any better than this. This is what I want to read to you. The centurion replied to Jesus, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but simply say the word and my servant will be healed. Jesus said to the centurion, Return home. Your, your petition has been granted because of your faith. You see, the Romans, the Romans had greatest faith of all, and that's what we got to understand. Complete trust in Jesus. I'm trying to find humble and obedience. This is what we must have to do as uh, Catholics, Roman Catholics. In our time of need, Christ, my child, they who try to withdraw themselves from obedience, withdraw themselves from grace. They do seek personal privileges, lose those which are shared by all. If people do not freely and willingly submit themselves to a superior, it is a sign that their flesh is not completely under their control, but that it to subdue your lower nature, first learn to obey your superior. If the inner person is strong, these is no worse or more troublesome enemy to your soul than yourself, as long as you, your flesh is not under the control of your will. Therefore, it is in an absolute necessity for you to acquire a true contempt of yourself. If you would prevail over flesh and blood, but because you still love yourself in the wrong way, you are afraid to resign your will entirely to the will of another. But is it such a great thing for you who are but dost in nothingness to submit yourself to a man for my sake, when the Almighty and Most High God, creator of all things, humbly submitted myself to human beings for your sake. I became the lowest, lowliest, and the least of human beings so that you might overcome your pride through my humility. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm 
trying to get out, uh, what I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, um, where, um, uh, like, when I had in my other video what I was saying, you know, uh, about the senators, the politicians, the government, the higher powers to be, like, where, you know, uh, there's like a, like the flesh, their flesh is, is, it's like a, like I was telling a lady today at a break, it's like a, you know, evil thing going on, and they talk about the Antichrist, but I don't think it's one man of sinless, I think it's, it's, it's the devil himself, Satan himself is over the government, over, you know, he's just devouring people, like, Jesus said, and, and, you know, and, and that's why, you know, we got to pray, you know, that, you know, things, things will be okay, you know, um, this book, this book is a very good book, this is the Imitation of Christ the Catholic, St. Joseph's, and it's, it's a great book, you know, and you, you got to read it to understand it and live a, a, a Catholicism life. I'm going to get my other book with my prayers in it. Uh, here's another book. This is the right of uh, the Christian invitation. It's it's a book that states that you can be anybody and you can be invit for, you know, of adults. Uh I think I'm going to need my glasses for this, this one, maybe, yeah. where did my glasses go, my pocket, but, uh, every day you must do the sign of the crucifix, because it's the most power to be. You know, the crucifixion. I've got to get upstairs and punch back in. But. I want to read a prayer. Lord our God, you make known the true life. You are away corruption and strengthen faith. You build up hope and foster love. In the name of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask you to remove from these, your servants, all unbelief and hesitation in faith, the worship of false gods and magical witchcraft and dealings with the dead, our love of money and loveless passions, enmity, and quarreling in every manner of evil. That is what's going on now. That is definitely going on. And because you have called them to the holy and sinless in your sight, creating a them a spirit of faith and reference of performance and hope, of temperance and purity and the charity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. I might be back. I doubt it. But this is Bishop Paul Zanetti on prayer. And uh, each and every day is another day to where we have to reconcile to Jesus Christ. Okay? God bless you and the world. I should say, everything's through Jesus Christ. Amen. Son, Holy Spirit.